Good morning, everybody. This is Roger. Roger's Reviews and Tree Life 1584 Tree. We have a, uh, a water oak removal today and some trimming. Uh, one of the trees fell down for our customer um, about a week or two ago. It fell on the neighbor's house, so there's one leading towards his house that uh, he's very concerned about. It's an older tree. It's got some rot in it. It's got a couple hollow spots. Top of the tree is hollow. Um, if he lets it go, it's a pretty good chance the whole top of the tree will break out eventually. So we're going to go ahead and uh, remove one of the trees, grind the stump, and there's also a tree in the back that fell. We're going to, the stump's still there, and there's a lot of grinding. We got to take some fence panels down and do some grinding. So <clears throat> it's going to pretty much take the whole day. I'm going to try to get some drone footage. Uh, Preston will be climbing today. Um, the bucket truck, I don't know if it's going to quite reach the top, so hopefully we're high enough to where he can just uh, butt catch a couple of the, uh, there's three leaders coming out of the top of the tree. Um, we got a pretty good set of rings we can throw in them. Uh, it's just going to be very close to see if he can reach that, that top crotch. If not, he's going to have to get out, <clears throat> make a transition to uh, inside the tree, and then um, once he sets the rings and sets the, uh, the ropes, he can probably get back in the bucket, but um, it's always nice not to have to do that transition a couple of times. But he's young, he can handle it. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're driving the F-250 uh, and the guys are driving the uh, bucket truck and we got the uh, equipment trailer on the back. We're bringing the, um, uh, I don't know which skid steer they brought today, the SK, uh, Ditchwich SK-52. We changed out the fuel filters last night and uh, got some air in the line. So supposed to bleed them out this morning if not we're going to use the old uh, ditch witch sk 755 because uh, it's running really good put a brand new battery in it new tracks on it so uh, it runs a little hot <clears throat> so we we try not to use it so much because it's got i think over five or six thousand hours on it um, i think the uh we need to take out the both all the radiators and blow them out they're just it just gets hot we've always had a problem the last couple of years with the machine getting hot so we try not to use it too much it's still a good machine but <clears throat> the hydraulic oil gets get, gets hot really quickly so anyway that's it for now and uh, I'll take some more footage once I get to the job site